What's up? Alexi One Air playing Astana. I think he's from Ireland. And uh, I'm trying the King's Gambit. Let's go King F3. I only know G5 here, so. D5, I have no idea what's going on. I think this seems normal. Uh, okay, so maybe I'm mistaken. Because now E3 is, uh, if I go C4, for instance, uh, 9 E3 is a problem. <clears throat> Along with Bishop B4. So let's just check here. See what happens. If it goes Bishop B7, I'm going to go C4. C4 now. It's just gonna take. <clears throat> so let's try this knight c3. If he takes an e2, I'm gonna take with the uh, bishop. I finally get a king's gambit, and uh, they play this d5, which I think is one of the most uh, most safe lines in the king's gambit. So he took on c3. I'm guessing he's gonna take on e2, but if he doesn't, I'm just gonna recapture on f4. Um, yeah, maybe I can go bishop e6 or something, but I'm just gonna capture f4. And we have a somewhat equal position. Okay, so what happens if I take on a four? He's probably gonna take on a three. Hmm. I don't think that's such a bad uh, deal for me. I get the two bishops, and uh, well, my pawn structure is a, bit, is a bit worse, but those two bishops are good as well. If he takes now, maybe I can even take with the king because my bishop can go to h three. Yeah, I'm gonna pre-move that. Well. It is a bit strange, actually. Hmm. Maybe something like king f2 here. I'm just gonna go bishop takes, though. Otherwise, this whole king f2 is a bit weird. And now I wanted to go rook e1 here. And then rook a1, ab1. Because we're somewhat attacking here. Ooh, if I get my bishop on this diagonal, that's a nice uh, deal. So maybe bishop f1 here. Ah, uh, he has to play bishop d6 here. Yeah. Check. King somewhere. b8 probably. Takes and rook e7. Well, he, he can play something like rook f6 or rook h6. But this 7th rank is pretty annoying for him because I can go uh, like a4, a5 and just win something on the, queen, on the king side now. Well, it's the queen side, but his king is there. So, queen side. Okay, so probably bishop g2 here. Next I'm gonna go a4. You can take a pawn on h2, but it's nothing... That, that, that is not, not an issue. I can take f7 and uh, also can just play uh, a4. So now I think I should play a4 here. Uh. 
That's a shame. I'm gonna take and play a5. The knight should be going to c4, I think, but then a6. Maybe c4 now. Where's the knight going? f4, probably. a6. Okay, I think we're somewhat better, but not by a long shot. Because c5 is somewhat of an issue for him. If he takes with this check there. But he can probably just play rook b8. Yeah. He just keeps everything together. No, I wanted to go king e4 after knight d5, but that's not such a good uh, good idea. Because of knight c3 check, obviously. So, I'm gonna go d to d3. If he takes on c5, I'm gonna take there. I'm gonna recapture. Or I'm gonna capture on c4, it depends on uh, if he plays c4 or not. Let's go over here. Yeah, I mean, uh, this should be equal. But we've got a um, somewhat more active king. But our pawns are worse. It's normally it's. Uh, Better to have a bishop in these type of endings, but I doubt uh, the bishop will win here. the The biggest plus here is that I have got more time. Yeah, I thought he would do that. Uh, bishop e2, going to h5, obviously. If I go to h5, he's probably gonna go knight h4. Let's just try this. He's not even taking. Yeah, that's a good move by him. Because if I take on c6 now, knight d4 is an issue, so. Huh. Draw? No, I'm gonna see if you win this. No, it's not. He's not gonna win this. I mean, this should be a draw, but well, he's up a pawn, so let's just push it. In the worst case, he can just grab my pawn, and it's still a draw because uh, I've got the wrong color bishop. Because if I, if I go king d5, he's just going to take. Then run with this king to this pawn. and So let's go c6. Uh, I want to go to d4, but knight b4 is a problem. Uh, d5, I mean. If I go to d4, he just does king d6. So let's just go there. He's not even playing that before, okay? Mm. Okay, so now I've got something of a Sukzwang idea. Huh, oh, he has this move. It's too bad. Trying to get a flag going here, but yeah. Okay, so I didn't deserve to win this, obviously. I think it's still a draw. <sighs> the guys be raiding me. Oh well. 
So, F4. I'm just going to ignore him, by the way. Alex Estana Lopez. Good for him. Being an IM. So, I finally get my uh, King's Gambit. Yay. And, uh, yeah, I like the positions after G5 here. But, D5. Uh, I've played the King's Gambit twice now. Once not on, not while recording, I think. And they both, uh, both, both times I got this d5 here. And I don't know what to do here. I mean, c4 seems illogical. And d4 is also a problem. Maybe knight c3. And then something like that. However, we, we went d4. And I was I was planning to go c4 here, but bishop b4 was a problem. So if we go to uh, bishop d2, he has knight e3. It's just knight c6. This is horrible, I think. Knight takes d4 is in the air. This queen is in trouble. Queen e2. Knight c3. This all seems somewhat normal. King f2 is a bad move. I should probably go rook b1. And then rook g1. Just putting my rooks on the... Well, the logical uh, files. But king f2 should be fine, I think. Maybe I should still go king takes. And then put my bishop on h3. Because now I don't... Uh, this bishop isn't so good. I mean, it would be much better on this diagonal. H, a, 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 C8, H3 a diagonal. So I try to get it on, but... He's just in time with this bishop d6. Takes take. Oh, uh, yeah, takes take. Oh. I should have immediately took. And then just play rook e7. So the difference is my bishop is uh, better on f1, more flexible. And he can't play uh, rook d7, obviously, because of this bishop h3. Yeah. So the difference is, uh, if the bishop is on f1 and the king on c8, is he doesn't have this bishop h6, uh, rook h6. And now it's, it's just totally equal. I thought I'd have something here, but it turned out to be nothing. Bishop f1, c5. King e3. Yeah, and at first I wanted to go here, obviously, but uh, that's not the best idea. So king d3. Takes, 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 takes. Yeah, it seems like black is doing fine here. Knight b4 doesn't win anything because of uh, just king c3, and this one is defended. So I have to go back, and then we can go to d4, e5. Yeah. I mean, he's just defending very well. Okay, f5 is a uh, swing and a miss. Bishop f3 here, maybe. Knight h4, though. And then knight f5. Well, knight f5, king e5 is a. Well, it's still fine. f5, though, is uh, isn't the best. Because of this knight e6 here. And uh, if I take here knight e4 is winning for him. So king e5, knight takes e5, bishop takes, knight takes. And now I'm down a pawn, but it should still be a draw. It was about around here he offered a draw. So yeah, normally I would, I would go king d5 here, but he can just take and. Yeah, this is an easy draw for him. You can do nothing wrong here. 
Worst case scenario, uh, he loses his pawns here. Oops. Still draw. I guess you can't win. He's just gonna flee into to the corner and uh, White can't win. So that's why I played c6 here. And I thought he would he would just go for knight b4 here. And take it. Because it seemed like he was aiming for a draw. I think the position is drawn as well, but so here he can take, obviously. He can also check. And then try and go to uh, d6. Yeah, here I was just flagging him. Even if he took the pawn, I was gonna flag him. So, this game was actually actually really balanced. Around here it seemed like I was somewhat better, but... I don't know where I went astray here, because... It seemed like I was doing pretty well. Yeah, and here I shouldn't have played bishop h3. I should just take on d6 and rook e7 immediately. That's uh, that's one of the differences I could have done. But after this, he played uh, reasonably well. And bishop g2 is bad. Maybe I can go uh, king g2 here, and then uh, after rook g6, go to h1, rook h6, and then something like bishop g4 maybe. So we get this position with my king on h1, and then I play bishop g4. Yeah, I think that's okay. But after bishop g2, it's just drawn. Oh well. At least I won. So, uh, yay. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.